Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm a conservation biologist with the Minnesota Zoo. With over 10,000 lakes, rivers, and wetlands, Minnesota is a great place for turtles. Turtles are not only fun to watch, but they play an important role as nature's aquatic cleanup crew, helping to keep our waterways healthy. Unfortunately, Minnesota's turtles are threatened by habitat loss, vehicle strikes, nest predators, and climate change. To assist our turtle populations, Minnesota Zoo staff are working with a number of partners on research and conservation. In southeastern Minnesota, the zoo is partnering with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources to help wood turtles. We are learning about the habitat needs of these threatened turtles by tracking them with GPS loggers and radio telemetry. This is a GPS logger used on turtles. We can attach it directly to the turtle's shell and it can store data from satellites to tell us exactly where the turtle has been. This radio telemetry transmitter can also be attached to a turtle. It sends out a signal that we pick up with an antenna to find out where the turtle is. It's smaller and so can be used on smaller turtles. Using data from these devices, we can restore habitat and protect turtle nesting sites. At a couple of nesting sites, we've installed electric fences to keep out predators like raccoons and skunks. As part of the collaboration with the DNR, a small number of turtle eggs are being incubated at the Minnesota Zoo. The hatchlings will be raised at the zoo through their first year. They are released into the wild the following spring when they are bigger and have a better chance of survival. The zoo is also working with the Minnesota Department of Transportation and Metro Counties to reduce the number of turtles killed on roadways. A rough estimate indicates that tens of thousands of turtles are killed on Minnesota roads every year. Zoo researchers are gathering data from sites around the Twin Cities where they are using different methods to prevent turtle road mortality. Some sites are testing turtle fences or other barriers to direct turtles to safe passages under the road. Other sites are testing the success of turtle crossing signs to help drivers be on the lookout for turtles. Early results appear promising, and if effective, these efforts could be scaled up across the state. You don't have to be a scientist to help Minnesota's turtles. One thing you can do is pick up litter in places that turtles live, since litter attracts turtle predators. For more ideas on how to help turtles, visit us at mnzoo.org slash conservation.